Hello, me, I'm Nikita Burmakin from Russia. Hello, I'm Mariki Wiedemeyer uh, from Germany and uh, we want to introduce beach tennis today to you. In beach tennis we use uh, the, more or less uh, the same technique as uh, in tennis for the serve. We use a little bit more closed grip normally to give the ball more rotation because the net is a little bit higher and the court is a little bit shorter. You can serve whatever uh, you want because there is no dedicated place. You don't have to serve only cross court like in tennis. Serve middle or lines, whatever you want. And then very, very important that if we touch uh, the net, uh, we never replay the point. And uh, we always have only one serve. So it's, uh, it's really fast and dynamic. If, uh, if you do a mistake, you, you get a fault. So you, you have to, to put the, uh, the ball on court every time. The return, usually we have to return behind the 3 meters line, which uh, yeah, is here. Um, from the movement of the return we try to, to have the, the racket high, because the net is higher than in tennis, and have a, a short movement, just blocking the, the serve, play it short, on the, on the person that is serving. That would be the, the perfect return. Okay, so let's speak about the volley. The volley is very nice for uh, tennis players because it's very similar. The only thing that when uh, the ball comes uh, in this area, uh, near to your body, we use uh, normally two-handed grip. But then if it goes uh, far from us, we have to play uh, one-handed backhand. The other thing are more or less similar, so the volley is very nice for uh, play. The drop shot, you'd really try to, to make it, uh, to, to put the ball short on the other one, to make the other person move. And from the technical point of view, you try to, to uh, have a short movement as well, um, take the ball as high as, as possible, and let it drop on the other side as short as possible uh, to the net. So what about an overhead? We have uh, two options. When the ball is high in the sky, normally we all want to smash it. The smash is the same uh, like in tennis, uh, but uh, if uh, we go in trouble and the ball goes uh, more far to the line, we have a special uh, shot called the windmill. For the lob, it's basically you try to, to have a similar movement um, to make it not visible for the opponent if you play a drop shot or a lob. And uh, you push just in the end a little bit more to, um, yeah, to push the ball higher and uh, more far to the, to the baseline. 